How's everyone doing? This is going to be another for sale video. I've got a bunch of Blu-rays and DVDs, uh, just one 4K title in this one. And I was hoping to get everything sent out because uh, the people that bought stuff um, this past time uh, haven't had a chance to send it out yet because I haven't had a day off. And I was hoping if I sell anything this time, I could send it all together in one shot because it is a bit difficult to get to the post office. Um, I've been working like crazy, so hopefully we can work that out. And I've already uh, messaged some people saying that, you know, I'm going to ship it out um, most likely uh, Monday after work. So I'm going to get out a little bit earlier. And uh, that'll be when I ship everything out. So hopefully uh, you guys uh, can can hold on a couple more days. Thank you for your patience. I do appreciate it. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into what I have for sale. And again, please think of shipping. Uh, if you're in the continental U.S., it'll be $3 flat rate shipping. If you're outside of that, it'll be more. Especially if you're in a different country, it'll be a lot more. Like I remember shipping, uh, I think it was two or three movies to... Uh, Canada was like 15 or 16 bucks. Uh, I remember shipping, I think, two movies to the UK. It was like the same price, 15, 16 bucks. I remember shipping something in Australia a while back, and that was crazy expensive. But um, So definitely take that into consideration because shipping is on you. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. First up is the, the Lone 4K edition. Oh, also, um, none of these titles have uh, their digital copies. So get that out of the way in the front. But this is a... Uh, Ghost in the Shell, the 4K edition. I love that slipcover. I was really debating about keeping it for the slipcover. Such a beautiful, it's not really even picking up fully on the camera, but it's so beautiful in person. But uh, yeah, it's the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray combo pack. And then next up is Immortality. This is actually out of print, and I actually saw this sold on eBay for 75 bucks. Not asking price, but actually sold. So that was really surprising. Uh, I'm not expecting to get that. But uh, I would like to get a little bit more than, uh, you know, your average price for it. I think it is actually an underrated uh, vampire movie in Jude Law. Uh, Deathbed, The Bed That Eats. Open Water and Open Water 2. Final Exam, and this is a uh, Scream Factory release. Stake Land 2. Rings, Dolly Deadly, which is signed by the director, and this is a horror pack exclusive, Resident Evil Damnation, this is one of the CG animated movies, and actually I thought this was a really good one, one of the better uh, Resident Evil movies, uh, George A. Romero's Diary of the Dead, may he rest in peace. And Last House on the left, uh, the original with uh, the MGM collectible card faceplate. Two Orphan Vampires. And this has a, uh, a little bit of damage on the UPC symbol right there. But this is from uh, Jean Roland. Kiss of the Damned. Bikini Girls on Ice. It's just what you think it is. <laughs> Splintered. Last of the Mohicans. One of my all-time favorite movies. Uh, the Angry Birds movie. Tormented 3D. Sudeco 3D with a lenticular slipcover. Not much movement on that, though. A little bit. Part of the Ring series. Bigfoot, uh, Bigfoot, <laughs> with Danny Bonaducci, uh, Barry Williams, Sherilyn Fenn, Alice Cooper. Uh, Space Hunter, Adventures in the Forbidden Zone. Night of the Living Dead, this is a Region B release. In the UK. To the Wonder, Terrence Malick film. With uh, Ben Affleck, Rachel McAdams, Javier Bardem, and Olga Kirilenko. Leon the Professional, fully remastered in uh, 4K. T2 Train Spotting. Bambi, the Anniversary Edition. And it comes with a lithograph. Mars, this is a mini series. Um, I believe it's a three disc, yeah, three disc set Blu ray right there. 
Russ Meyer's Fanny Hill with the Phantom Gunslinger. And another uh, double feature uh, Mona Moore from uh, Tinto Brass. And then Kick the Cock, the new maid. Camille 2000. Battleship. Nice foily slipcover. Wild card. Another nice foily slipcover. Jason Statham. And uh, Money for Nothing with John Cusack, still sealed. And then I'll go ahead and show you um, uh, this box set right here, The Natural. It comes in a big box, and it's got a facsimile signed baseball, Roy Hobbs, a baseball cap, hats, and then uh, some baseball cards. And then, of course, it's uh, the director's cut. So a nice box set right there. And then let's go ahead and get to some of the DVDs. We've got Insidious 2, uh, or Insidious Chapter 2, and it's signed up by a bunch of people. we got uh, one signature there, there, there. Uh, there's another one right there, and then down there. Um, Lynn Shea, the old lady, the young kid, and then the other ones I will put down in the description section of uh, who it's signed by. But uh, obviously, I'd like to get a little bit more for this one since it's all signed up. You've got uh, one, two, three, four, five signatures in total. And uh, the Fly and the Fly 2 double feature. Kingdom of the Spiders, but it has a cracked case right there. This is a uh, Shout Factory release. Ghost Keeper, the 30th Anniversary Edition. This is uh, from Code Red. Good snowy setting horror movie. Seven Below, which is still sealed up. Beyond Remedy. Hollywood Horror House, which is still sealed up. Looks pretty freaky. Good choice of cover artwork. Um, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman and House of Frankenstein double feature DVD still sealed. Bones, the final chapter, still sealed. And this is, um, I can't remember how many discs are in here, three disc set. Naked Gun, triple feature, all three films. Joe vs. the Volcano. I Need a Dodge, which is uh, Joe Strum on the run um, from The Clash. And it comes out in a nice slip box like that. And you open it up, it's got some you know, art cards and stuff like that. But it also has a cassette tape, which has a live interview. You can actually play that cassette tape. So that's pretty cool. Put that off to the side. See if I can slide this back into the, the box set one-handed. And that's the same thing that happened last time. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if I can work that out. There we go. Uh, next up is The Story of God, Season 2, narrated by Morgan Freeman. And that has a UPC thing on there. Uh, Years of Living Dangerously, Season 2, which also has that on there. And this is a three-disc set. And, yeah, that one was just a regular one. And then next up is um, Cop Out, signed by Kevin Smith right there at the top. Streets of Compton. Uh, the Last Man on Earth, Season 1, still sealed. American Dad, uh, Volume 7. And this is a three-disc set. The Wahlburgers, uh, this is the complete first season. And it's a two-disc set. House, Season 2, still sealed up. Um, I'm not sure how many discs are in here, but there's a few discs in here. It feels heavy. The Wonder Years, Season 1, my all-time favorite TV show. Uh, we got a in the sleeves, Zombies, A Living History, and this is from the History Channel. And then we've got, this was from Pizza Hut, and I never opened it, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. And then here are some... Um, like, uh, essentially bootlegs. But a lot of these, you know, it's funny. I think people will think bootlegs are cheap. Like, if you go to horror conventions and stuff like that, they're charging, like, 20 25 bucks. I mean, that's what I paid for most of these ones. Um, I'm not looking to get that, obviously. Um, I guess it's kind of a gray area with the legality of it, with a lot of them not having um, releases and stuff like that. Uh, Serpent's Lair. Jeff Fahey. Eyes of Fire. Rawhead Rex, which hopefully will get a... Uh, release. I thought it was going to by now. 
Um, and I can't, I don't think I can, yeah, no, put those off to the side. Iced, which, oh man, this was actually really expensive. Um, this was a company that they did like officially, like made it real legit looking. Um, I can't remember what company it was right now, but um, they don't make uh, releases anymore. And knocking stuff over. Uh, it's a. It was a company that made like bootlegs and stuff like that. It was uh, their official website, very well known. I can't think of the name of it right now. Um, and also, if anybody's interested in any of these National Geographic ones, they're all still brand new, still sealed. And a lot of them are, uh, even though they say like two disc sets on the spine, a few of them, a lot of them are actually two or three disc sets, even they don't, even though they don't say it on the spine. But I'll just go ahead and scroll through if anybody's interested in any of those. And let's get into more of the DVDs. Tortured, which is still sealed. Uh, Good People. Yeah, and Ice is another snowy setting horror movie as well, by the way. But yeah, that was like, that site, they would charge like 25 plus shipping, I think, for those, for those releases. Compound Fracture. Oh, this one has a mark right there. Still sealed, but it's got like a mark. Uh, Good Neighbors. 37. Resident Evil, the final chapter. Killjoy's Psycho Circus, which is still sealed. Final Stab. Lisa and the Devil. Dead Man's Shoes. Frogs. Broken, which was a blockbuster exclusive. Bats. With uh, Lou Diamond Phillips in there. Manhunter. This was the really cool limited edition right there, which is like a two disc set. And it also comes with this like um, case file right there with a bunch of stuff in there. Love this movie. I prefer it over Red Dragon, although I do like Red Dragon. Unbreakable, which is like a digipack design. It's got some shelfware on the corners. Shaq's All Star Comedy Jam, live from Sin City. Adventures of the Wilderness Family. G.I. Joe the Movie. The Great Outdoors. Major Pain, which is still sealed. Paid 10 bucks for it. Juice. And still sealed up is Jefferson Airplane Fly with some uh, interviews and live performances. Punch Drunk Love, which is still sealed. This is a two disc special edition, kind of like a digipack design. Nikki Gun, two and a half. The Smell of Fear. The Sum of All Fears. The Real World, uh, You Never Saw, Back to New York with uh, The Miz. Almost Famous, the two disc uh, director's cut edition, the bootleg cut, still sealed up. The Net. Dr. T and the Women. Love for Leon. Benefit to Save the Barn. This is a two DVD, two CD set. And then uh, Mad Men. This has a limited edition packaging right there. This is a season two. Really cool looking window box design. Four disc set. And then we've got uh, Star Wars Empire Strikes Out. Uh, Lego movie. And it comes with a little Lego... Uh, Darth Vader and it is kind of beat up but all these ones I've got a few of these different Lego movies they all came beat up like that I guess it's just the packaging design Butters a little or uh, sorry a little box of Butters uh, South Park right there has a whole bunch of different stuff in there like beads and um, you know like a necklace thing and uh, of course the DVDs in there too I did a full unboxing of this so if you want to check out the contents you can check out my unboxing video of it on my channel Pirates of the Caribbean, this was a super rare out of print DVD, which I still, I remember looking this up uh, recently on eBay and they didn't have any on there. Um, but yeah, it was from back then, 2008. But uh, this used to go for like big money back in the day. And there is a little mark right there, but uh, still a really sweet looking steelbook. Spider-Man 2, the collector's DVD gift set. All kinds of goodies and special features in there. Ronin, the Digipack, designed from the UK, so it's Region 2. 
Um, Edward Scissorhands, the 10. Really nice looking 10. It does have a dent right there, though. Uh, Apocalypse Now, the complete dossier. And again, that like file design. Pretty cool. Tombstone, which is still sealed up. Nice digipack kind of design. Serendipity, which is region two. This is a Dutch metal pack. Love this movie, one of my favorite rom-coms. And you've got some interior artwork as well. So I really kind of got that one solely for like collectible purposes because I love the movie. Equilibrium, which is region three. Again, I got this one for collecting purposes. Um, I got it, I'll show you in one second, because it has a, kind of like this cool digipack kind of design. It folds out, and then you've got like a 3D mold of Christian Bale right there. And then uh, there's the disc. But a pretty cool addition for it. I feel like we don't really have that many uh, cool additions like that here in the U.S. All right, I'll just put that off to the side for now. 300, which is a French edition. So this is um, Region 2 as well, but it's a horizontal one. And you've got the discs over there, and you got a booklet, and then you got a thick booklet and some art cards. And then you've got iRobot, which is a Region 2 set from the UK. So you've got all kinds of goodies in here. Um, there's a film cell, some cards. And you've got some more cards in there. Really nice looking set. And then you've got Pulp Fiction, which has a... Um, it's kind of like the same design from the UK, so it's Region 2. And you've got a little bit of a rip right there on that corner. But, yeah, there's the film cell. And then you've got The Day of Tomorrow, Day After Tomorrow, which is a um, regular US DVD steelbook. And then last but not least is a UK Steelbook, so it's Region 2 for The Hustler. So again, you have to have a Region Free player for it. But there you go, that is everything. If you're interested in anything, leave me a comment down below. Uh, make me an offer. Again, I prefer if you make the initial offer, so please don't leave a comment asking, oh, what do you want for this? Just make me an offer and we can go from there. I can counter, but I prefer something a little bit more. But please take into consideration shipping costs. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's everything that I have right now. Um, I might go through more stuff in the future, but for now, that's everything. So again, make me an offer, and I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Take care.